relative atomic masses of elements are now described as the weighted average of one atom of each element compared to one twelfth the mass of an atom of carbon-12. <laughs> this sounds really confusing. Let's break it down. From experiments and mass spectrometry, we know that an atom of hydrogen, the smallest atom possible in the universe, has 12 times less mass than an atom of carbon-12. This means all elements' relative atomic masses can be compared to this smallest possible relative mass. As a result, we describe relative atomic masses as being compared to one twelfth the mass of an atom of carbon-12, as this is the same as the smallest possible relative atomic mass. The smallest possible unit is sometimes described as an atomic mass unit, one AMU, or one unified atomic mass unit, U. We describe relative atomic masses as weighted averages as we have to account for naturally occurring isotopes of elements. Within a sample of an element, some atoms will have different masses to each other. This means the average relative atomic mass of all atoms in the sample won't end up being a whole number. This is what made that problem with hydrogen earlier on when we were talking about a standard to use. The percentage of naturally occurring isotopes of an element should always be the same, meaning regardless of how much sample you have, the weighted average of all isotopes should be the same. For example, a sample of chlorine will always contain atoms of two isotopes, chlorine-35 and chlorine-37. The amount of chlorine-35 isotope in the sample will be 75% and the amount of chlorine-37 isotope in the sample will be 25%. These are sometimes referred to as percentage abundances. The average relative atomic mass of all the chlorine atoms then will be 35.5. Another way of thinking of this is that for every 100 chlorine atoms in a sample, 75 of them will be the 35 isotope and 25 of them will be the 37 isotope. To find the average mass of one atom then, you can find the total masses of all the atoms present, 75 times 35 plus 25 times 37, and then divide by the total number of all atoms, 100. This gives you a weighted average of 35.5. It's weighted because we have taken both of the different isotopes into account and their percentage abundances.